Hello my friends on YouTube. What is slowly coming into focus here is the CIKT Ripsnort knife and uh, this is going to be my review of this little, or oh, not that little, knife. I can tell you the minute I saw this, the pictures of this one on the internet, I was uh, I was fell in love with it. I really really liked the design and the, the the looks of this knife, and I definitely thought this is one I I want, and uh, so I went and got it. And it is uh, not that expensive. It is around fifty fifty four euro, and uh, I. I really liked it, so uh, I got a hold of it and I'm going to tell you a little bit of my thoughts about it and of course we start out with the usual walkthrough and uh, let's do that first. We have a cleaver style blade with a wide switch on top here which gives it, uh, I'll just try to show you, it gives it a nice um, accent to the top and if we try to close it we see a, a flipper tab very prominent with some can I sh can you see that yeah I think you can uh, with some jumping on top and then we already saw one of the problems action is not that excellent but uh, let's return to that subject in a little while Looking at the handle, it is a G10 handle and it has a sort of a, what do we call a stainless steel insert and then it has a metal, uh, it would be considered a, a skull crusher or a glass breaker we might call it at the end and at the butt end and a lanyard hole there as well and similar on the other side except for the pocket clip and just the presentation side uh, smooth uh, pivot uh, the back side of a pivot and two screws and as we can see very very thick liners and a backspacer the pocket clip uh, chip chip down and in this case right sorry left side only carry in my opinion and uh, so in this case I can say <laughs> sorry righties because um, this is actually configured for left side pocket carry which I find kind of strange but uh, never mind that then the you lefties will have something <laughs> to, to enjoy this time uh, as we can see one of the screws is sticking out a little bit don't know if that shows up on camera but uh, yeah that tells you maybe a little bit about the fit and finish which is what I will talk about in a little while and where my biggest issues with this knife is as we can see the clip is rather deep carry but as strangely only on this side and it really does nothing for the looks of of this side of the knife in my opinion it looks very messy around this nice insert or inlay but uh, I guess that's a matter of opinion I think it looks rather busy or even messy and uh, yeah we already see the issue once again it is not that well flipping you really have to consider it and that's the action of this one uh, it is I even had it apart and I lubricated it but you have to give it a bit of a wrist flick or really have uh, flip it with some intention speaking of this let's talk about the fit and finish in general lockup is uh, yeah, it's about 80% I think just try to show you there and centering definitely not perfect but since I had it apart that could 
uh, in part be because of uh, be my fault, my own fault. So I won't hold that against the knife. Uh, the action, uh, as I said, you have to be a little bit deliberate. Uh, this one is not on bearings; it is on washers, and that definitely shows and feels. Uh, you. It, it is quite smooth, but uh, not like uh, washers, uh, a washer pivot, no doubt about that. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. And then, continuing to the uh, ergonomics, and this is my biggest issue with this knife. This handle is one big hotspot. And this is because they sort of did an okay job rounding it off uh, on the outside of the of the um, scales and liners here, but on the inside, everything is sharp as a more or less as a razor. I would uh, I would think that I could take this apart and use the inside of the scales to remove paint from. A furniture or whatever it is very very sharp all the way inside all the way inside on, on the belly of the handle everything is sharp and pointy at some places this uh, the the um, clip points into your hand and creates another hotspot and even the flipper tab is not rounded off in any way and it grabs at everything so in general this really is uncomfortable to hold it could be good if you remove the yeah you have to remove the pocket clip that's the first point it it is it could be an okay ergonomics but you just have a sharp edge everywhere in your hand from the inside of these liners and that's no matter how you hold it there's a hotspot everywhere simply and i find that to be deeply a shame because i still i really really like this and i think it is a beautiful beautiful knife i know some of you won't agree but i really think it's beautiful and why the hell couldn't they just give a damn and do the, the little extra, like buffing off these sharp edges, like doing a pro proper clip, even moving it to the other end of the knife? I just don't understand it. With these issues, I still love the design, I still love the knife, and I'm definitely going to take it apart and buff these corners off, but that definitely shouldn't be necessary for me to do, and it, it really annoys me and uh, to make a gen general rant well this is a knife at uh, 50 55 euro that's very very good and nice i can get let's see and I, I have a land 910 plus here this is a san Remo knife a chinese knife it is absolutely excellent it is nicely rounded off everywhere it has a great yeah drop shot action and it costs $15 and then CRKT comes I know a little more original design perhaps with a beautiful design in my opinion and they screw it up I, I just don't understand it why don't you give a damn you have just it can't cost you more than I don't know five dollars or whatever to off all of these edges and do something about the po pocket clip it's like you have all this great and then you don't give a damn I really don't get it uh, I'm gonna do these things myself because I really love the knife I really really do love the knife but it is so deeply ugly why not do the last thing with the last few things to make it right I don't imagine that, that, that there's materials or or even salaries in this knife four times more than the other one. There must be some some uh, air in the budget to make a little bit better finish on such a knife. 
Uh, this brings me to the general opinion that people often say about CRKT, they do get, uh, have this, those nice designs and then they lack uh, to to use a little better materials or whatever, but well, I've come to the conclusion I don't really care about the materials. Uh, what what a cheaper material or a cheaper blade steel means is just that you have to sharpen the knife a bit more, and uh, in some cases you have to you have to use uh, very abrasive stones to to do the more premium steels this one i can i think sharpen on just about anything even perhaps my pants if it's only a dropping but um, so it wouldn't mind to, it doesn't matter to me that these materials are, are sort of what you call inferior but it does matter to me that someone obviously didn't give a damn uh, because you don't need to do that. You can do the cheap materials and do it properly. That would be my rant. Um, and I think I've been rambling on along. So um, I'll stop here and just give you the quick and boring details about, uh, about uh, sizes and weights here. And very quickly, the knife, the knife is 8 centimeters. The blade is 8 centimeters. The handle is 11 centimeters, and that would, in my book, give about 19 centimeters in all. Uh, quick size comparison. The red one. Uh, the the CRKT rip snort here is a bit smaller, but uh, not that much. But you can see the difference, and most people know the red one. Let's very quickly do a weight. It is a heavy knife. But we'll just see how much. Five point seven ounces. Yeah, my weight was on ounces, but I can shift that to grams. One hundred and sixty-four grams. Not the lightest knife. Let's turn that off. And the last thing. Let's have a look at the. At the uh, blade, zero point one four one three inches, and that would be three point three two millimeters. So, all in all, very difficult to. Uh, on the edge, you like the design and you're willing to put in some work. Very difficult knife to recommend. Action is not. Stella in any way, you do have to wrist flick it a little bit or be very, yeah, it's almost impossible, be very uh, deliberate when you flip it and then your fingers slide on these very sharp edges here and it is, <laughs> yeah, it's not a comfortable feeling actually. Uh, and so a little bit of wrist flick then you can do it and um, uh, if you're willing to put in that little extra work because it only takes a piece of sandpaper CRKT uh, and a little perhaps five minutes and uh, then you take off this pocket clip and I think you have a very very beautiful knife in my opinion uh, so bad the CRKT didn't do it but I can do it myself and I will and then I think I'll enjoy it very much but um, so deeply ugly that it didn't do it at the, uh, when they sent it out, actually. But that's the way it is. With this rant and review, have a nice day, evening, whatever it is in your country.